Hello guys, welcome back to the video from the Innovator. So as you have read in the title, this video is all about the process of making an incubator or an egg fertilizer. Uh, firstly, we will be talking a little bit of a theoretical side of an incubator. So firstly, what is an incubator? Incubator is a device in which we place some eggs under heat and humidity and hatch those eggs under a certain period without any need of hen. This is kind of a definition. So let's get into the building process. Before that, if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, please do it to watch our latest uploads as soon as possible. So let's get started. First, we have taken a thermopile box and make some holes on the parallel sides of the box for the ventilation of the heat. This is the lid of our box. We have to make some holes on that too. Here we are using a soldering iron to make the holes. You can also use a cutter or any sharp material as well. Take a small container for the eggs and 12 volts DC fan to reduce effect of the high intensity light. Make two holes on the side of the container for 12 volts DC fan to stand. DC fan has 4 holes to fit in any surface. Here we use only 2 holes to fit in with the container. We use 2 screws to fit the DC fan with the container and the back side of the DC fan face towards the container because we need to use it as an exhaust fan. Take a holder and a 30 watt bulb, use upper two holes of the DC fan to make a stand for the bulb and the holder. And one precaution, bulb must be 1 meter above the water in the container. Here is a proper look of our model. Basically in this process we need to put some eggs around the container and put some water in the container. When the bulb will on, it will produce some heat and some humidity from the water which is necessary for the egg reproduction. Here we have 
W1209 module with a temperature sensor. It has three buttons, set, plus, minus, and have four connectors in which we have ground, 12 volts, normally open and common. Here we connect the ground of our 12 volts power supply with the ground pin of the module and the positive of our power supply with the 12 volts connector of the module. After giving supply from the 12 volts power supply to the module, it will show room's temperature which is 34.4 and this red LED shows LED is relay of the module being on. I have three buttons set, plus and minus. We want that when temperature reaches to the 38.5, relay will turn off. To do this we first press set and through plus and minus we can control the temperature that needed to be reached. Temperature is set and for the delay we need to press set for several seconds. P will appear in the PO. We press the plus or the minus for hot and cold respectively. Again press set button for several seconds. Here we select P1 and then press set 0.5 delay which means our relay will off at 38.5 plus 0.5 which means 39 degrees celsius. Relay will turn off. Here we have soldering iron and place it near the temperature sensor. When it reaches 39 degrees celsius our relay will turn off. And as it reaches back to the 38.5 degrees celsius it will automatically turn on. Now we make some precise holes in our thermopile box for the W1209 temperature module and fix it with the thermopile. DC jack. To place it we need to make one hole for it as well in the thermopile and one under the connector of the module.
Connect the positive of the DC jack to the positive of our 12 volts DC fan and connect the ground of the DC jack to the ground of the DC fan. Take two wires, join one with the ground of the module and one with the 12 volts module and then put them inside the box. Ground wire of the module is connected with the connected ground terminal of the DC fan and the DC jack. 12 volt wire of the module is connected with the connected positive terminal of the DC fan and the DC jack. Take two 20 volts two pole AC wire which one end is connected with the plug in which one wire is cut in half and the left other wire is as it is. Other end of each wire are connected to the bulb holder. Wire which is cut in half moves from the hole to the other side of the box and the one piece of the wire which is connected to the bulb is connected to the normally open and the other piece which is connected to the plug is connected with the common. Make one more hole for the temperature sensor. Connect the sensor with the module and put it inside the box through the hole.
Here we use the 12 volts adapter instead of the 12 volts power supply for our own ease. And after connecting the adapter and the 220 volts wire through the 220 volts power line, our temperature module, DC fan and the bulb will turn on. After placing the lid on the box, here the temperature module shows us temperature inside the box. And as the temperature reaches to the 39.0 degrees Celsius, relay will switch off. And as it is back to the 38.5 degrees Celsius, relay will turn on automatically. Here we place the two eggs in the container and we need to rotate these after every two days. And we also change some readings as well from 38.5 degrees Celsius to 37.7 degrees Celsius. And after the delay of 0.5, delay will off at 38.2 degrees Celsius. So guys that's it for today i hope you guys liked the video if you did please hit the thumbs up and also subscribe the channel to watch our latest uploads as soon as possible also join us on facebook twitter and instagram the links are in the description below see you guys in the next video shortly bye bye stay safe peace out